Yep. Cool. Okay. Yep, yep. So we have a uh, Let's do this. All right. Do uh, eight hundreds. Two or four. Two or four. You think the first one or second? Find that 64. Nice job, you guys. Definitely different. Definitely a different feel, you know, being in my apartment all day leading up to a race and then driving to a local high school to see my teammates and, you know, race at this track and then drive home at night. Uh, it definitely didn't feel like the environment of a race. So it was kind of tough to get kind of psyched up for, for the races in the same way that you do when you're in a new city and you're in a hotel and you go to a meet location and there's all these different people in a crowd. So it was definitely different, but once we started warming up and got things going, it felt, I, I felt back in the zone, back in the race, race mood. I think I had been in shape to break a few of my PRs for a little while at that point. So it was nice to kind of finally get that on paper and got to be a part of some cool stuff. Um, pacing Mo and Lopez was really cool. I was probably more nervous for that than I was for the races where I was racing, just because I kind of I kind of knew the gravity of what was going on. And for example, in the 1500, if I made a mistake, it's like, okay, this affects me. And when I was pacing Mo and Lopez, I, I knew they had pretty lofty goals. and. Little mistakes by me cost them uh, quite a bit in the end, so uh, I was a little nervous about trying to, to get everything right. I mean, to me, those were my first, like, well, I'd raced once indoor, but those intra-squad meets were kind of my first real professional taste of a uh, like summer series or a circuit that you would do in Europe. So it was kind of cool. It was like, it was like I kind of had like a, like a warm-up uh, a Euro European warm-up where I'm racing these world-class guys, but it's very controlled. Jerry's there making sure all the splits are right. There's nobody that you have to fight off because they're kind of being crazy making all these moves. So yeah, it almost felt like I was in like the D-League, just like my first year as a pro, just got, I guess, drafted and have like these lower stakes opportunities to kind of feel out what it's like on the professional scene and and in the following year I'd have like the the full experience but it made the transition kind of nice honestly and yeah the the journey getting to being on on Bowerman was kind of a it's it's a lengthy one it's a lengthier one than I expected because there's so many layers to it you know you have uh, an agent you have a shoe company sponsor and then you have a team within that shoe company it wasn't that long ago that I really looked up to a lot of the athletes that I could potentially choose to train with, which was a really, really cool feeling. You know, I just came out of college last year and, and was looking at a lot of different groups. And there are some options where you're a bit more of an individual professional and kind of a, a lone wolf almost. Um, and there's other groups where you're kind of in a group, but you're definitely individuals in a umbrella and wear the same uniform, but you're not really like, it doesn't feel like a college team or, or what I was used to or anything like that. I think Bowerman takes the good things from a college team and the things that aren't quite necessary when you're, you know, a, a full adult and have been running for a long time and kind of merges those really well. For me, looking at the, the men's side, it's a very high power group in the events that I do, especially for Americans. So. The Olympics being the, the pinnacle of our sport, there's only three spots in each event. And there's a couple events like that on our team where we have a lot of firepower in, in certain events. And I really wanted to, to check before joining the team that there wasn't this like backstabbing culture, you know, trying to elevate yourself and bring down everybody else. And uh, that people were actually able to work together um, to try to get better and, and not feel threatened by each other because there's a, a looming ultimatum coming at the Olympic trials and I found that yeah this team was the honestly the closest team that I found in in the respect of like
caring about each other and working together and having fun. We all come from different places. We have a couple guys from different countries. We have varying ages too. I think I was talking to Lopez and we realized that he's been a professional for more than half of my life. You know, I, I just move up here and I really don't have that many responsibilities. And there are older people on the team with different backgrounds, have spouses and have a lot more responsibilities than me. It's, it, it's definitely different from my perspective, hanging out with people that are within a, a I guess, a four year range in college to now I'm friends with people that are a lot older than me. And yeah, the, the group likes to make a lot of, a lot of jokes, no matter what your situation is. So most of my jokes are centered around being young um, and not, not knowing things that they know, whether they're just like random references to older movies or um, not knowing the, the rigors of professional running or, or anything like that. This is what we do, we, we run. Um, so. There's no like school to distract you. There's no uh, extracurricular stuff that you have to tend to. It's running is your, your job ultimately. And this is kind of like, we're, we're all in to, to maximize our potential running. So Jerry told me that before I joined the group that, you know, the, the training here is gonna be very, very challenging. And if that's not what you want, then definitely don't pick this group. When the COVID situation kind of came into full force, we kind of splintered into different directions. And a lot of the the day-to-day -day things that I loved about the team, the, the banter, the easy days, the jokes, kind of went away because we were all running by ourselves in different locations and didn't want to you know, meet in big groups or anything. We found ourselves in little mini workout groups. I was in a group with Mo and Lopez, and yeah, we'd run individually on our own on easy days and then we'd meet on workout days and we'd meet at this track uh, just outside of kind of the city of Portland uh, it was called uh, PCC Sylvania was the campus and uh, it was a blue track and uh, it was a 440 yard track the group that I was with those guys we started calling the track big blue because it was oversized from what a normal track is in blue and that was my first taste of like really specific race pace jerry sessions and it was brutal <laughs> um, especially with those two i mean they at that point lopez had run 13 flat mo had run sub 13 mo was coming off a medal at the world championship and i was coming out of college <laughs> so i was just doing what i could to to keep up and uh definitely got got uh got humbled a bit uh, but i learned so much from those two and i would get dropped all the time in those workouts but they would always build me up and, and tell me to stick at it. And I, we called it a camp because it was like, we were all just together and really couldn't do anything. Like, you know, you, you couldn't go to restaurants, you couldn't go out, you couldn't go hang with your friends. It was just kind of like running, running, running. And I do feel like that really put me to a, a level that I probably wouldn't have gotten to if we would have been in the big group still just having that like intimate experience with those two guys that have accomplished so many things that I want to accomplish in the sport. It gave me the idea that I could get there too and the confidence that you know, if I can learn from these guys and pick up the things that they do that I don't, then you know, maybe that'll help me get to that level quicker. Hey, Lopez. Hey, buddy, that was beautiful. You dug deep, nice job, man. I know that hurt. Hey, uh, got I it. Love it. Hey, you fought those last three laps. Holy hell. Let's go, Warriors! Yeah, you were awesome. Who are you? What are you? Uh, sick? Yeah. Very important part of the process.